So in this video, we're going to talk about rational and irrational principal roots. All right, so we're going to find the principal root of these uh, numbers, square root of 0, square root of 1. So we're going to find the principal square root specifically and determine whether the root is a rational or, or a irrational number. So we're going to start with the square root. So if you say square root, we're going to find a number if you multiply it by itself. The answer is zero so there's no other number to get a zero if you multiply by itself but only itself which is zero so zero times zero is zero and um, to know it's rational or irrational so obviously it's rational because irrational you will know it's irrational when it's decimal and it's none it's it's non-stop okay so it's infinitely long decimal it, it doesn't stop so it's called non-terminating. And uh, for square root of 1, there are two, two roots for square root of 1. It's positive 1 and negative 1. Because positive 1 multiplied by itself, it's 1. Negative 1 multiplied by itself, so negative 1 times negative 1 is still positive 1. So there are two roots for square root of 1. But we are asked to find the principal root. So if you say principal root, we are only looking for the positive root. We ignore the negative. And so the principal root of this square root of 1 is positive 1. And it is rational. So again, if it's not in decimal that is non-terminating, then it's rational. But some decimals are rational as long as it, it, it ends. Okay, so it, it, has, it is terminating. There is an ending of its decimal. For square root of 2, so we cannot find two numbers. I mean, a uh, number, when you multiply it by itself, you will get a 2. So basically, if you use a calculator or in some gadgets to compute square root of 2, you can get the value, but it's, it's non-terminating decimal. So we call it an irrational number. Same as square root of 3. So if you get the square root of 3, it is actually this 1.73205 and so on it's infinitely long number meaning there's no not it's non-stop decimal so we consider it as an irrational number but let me emphasize not all decimals are irrational okay it's only those decimals which are non-terminating meaning it's non-stop it's it's infinitely long there's no stop of its decimal for square root of 4, so again, we're looking for principal root, so we only consider the positive one. So square root of 4 is positive 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. For square root of 5, there's no number to multiply by itself. If we get 5, I mean a whole number uh, or an integer. We multiply it by itself, you get 5, there's none. So, um, oh, okay, so I forgot that the 2 is a rational number. So for square root of 5, it's 2.23606 if you use a calculator to compute the square root of 5. So it's an irrational number. It's it's never-ending decimal. As well as for square root of 6, so if you compute that, you will get 2.44948. So it's never-ending or non-stop decimal. So it's an irrational number or an irrational root. Same as for square root of 7. So it's 2.64575 and so on. So it's very long. That's also irrational. For square root of 8, so if you compute that, you will get around 2.82842 and so on. So you cannot get uh, an exact value for a square root of 8 unless you use a calculator. So, but it's still a non-stop decimal. So it's an irrational number. For square root of 9, we have 3 times 3, which is 9. So the square root of 9 is 3. So again, no negative 3 because we're only taking the principal root. Square root of 25 is... Uh, so, by the way, 3 is rational as well. So square root of 25 is 5, and it is a rational number. Now for square root of 30.25... Um, you might think that it is irrational, but actually there's a number if you multiply by itself, it's 30.25. That is 5.5. So if you multiply 5.5 by itself, it's 30.25.
and although this is decimal but this is not irrational this is rational it because it has an ending it's only up to five so that is a rational root and that's that's how you uh, that's how you d determine the principal root and its nature with its rational or irrational number thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section